What's going on y'all, it's your boy CJ here. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to shape and shave and do everything in regards to your um, beret in the army, marines or whatever, cause I just got mine, I need to get mine done. Just before we get into this video, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. If you're returning and you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe before the end of this video as just grows the family and share this video to a friend. So first, first thing you're gonna need is um, anything that you can use to like shave, like whatever you use to shave your uh, your face with, or females, same thing. Um, just get one of these. And then first you're gonna wanna start going in a circle basically, right? So you got, you got it like that. And you're just gonna wanna like shave, 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 shave in a circle motion, circular motion all around, all around until you, start, or until you start seeing like the seams and stuff like that. You just wanna shave in a circular motion like that. So, boom. And then you're gonna start seeing the little fuzzy pieces that you don't want. Those pieces are gonna um, start coming off. And y'all do not be fooled. This thing really sucks when you're doing it because after a while you just get tired. Your arms start getting tired, your hands start getting tired. But this is what you gotta do. I don't know why they don't just make the berets like normal, like already shaved off and everything. But it is understandable because it is wool, right? So yeah, you just gotta keep going in that circular motion. Get all the fuzz off. You gotta get all the fuzz off. You're gonna start um, seeing like the pattern. I think, I feel like, I think some of them don't have a pattern also. But you'll know when, you'll know when you're done shaving because the fuzz won't, you won't really have a lot of fuzz coming off anymore. I'm not close to done finishing. I'm probably like round two out of three, but this is all the fuzz that I got so far. So yeah, that's a lot. A lot of fuzz on here too. One thing that I also wanted to mention is that when I bought mine, it came with this little insert, so I just kept it inside so it can serve as a little platform for me. And then I'm gonna take it out when I'm gonna start molding it, right? So yeah, guys, so far, this is all of the, um, the cotton that I got from the beret. This is what it looks like so far. I'm not 100% done yet, but I'm still, I'm still working on it. I'm about to toss this. I'm gonna toss this away real quick and then continue to work on it. All right, so now we're here. We're gonna go against the grain up here and make sure you don't get the um, where the unicrest goes, but you just kind of go against the grain right there. And I haven't even started at all on this end. Started on the back end, which looks pretty good, but I still got a little bit more to take off. And then you just go like so. And then you wanna get the other side like so also. And then once you get around here, the corner, just kind of like graze around it. Or you can go off end. So yeah, I'm gonna do that for a couple of minutes. And I'm gonna get right back to y'all. So yeah, like what you're gonna wanna do after you um, basically finish shaving it off what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna shave it again. Um, that's basically the second process, second step that I'm doing right now. Um, I basically, I took this out, um, out of it, and now I just collapsed it because the, the ends, you know, you still gotta shave the, that part out too. So like I didn't took a whole, there's so much uh, cotton and stuff like that that's on there that I've been um, shaving off, but you just gotta, you just gotta keep shaving. You don't know when it's done. Um, 
but sometimes you still won't know. You just gotta keep shaving. And I've been at this for like three hours now. I mean, not consistently, but you know, I've been, I've been just, I've been doing it like that. You know, cause you gotta make sure that you get all of the cotton off, all of it off. And you'll see that it, there's still some accumulation right there. You see it? All of that. See all of that? That's what you don't want. So we gotta just keep scraping. Keep scraping it off. Or painting it off. And I'm kind of using a little bit more force now because I got the, the first layer. I guess you could say I got the first layer off. And we're gonna keep doing it. See this line right here? That line. Boom. Gotta start shaving. As you can see, there's still there's still fuzz coming off. Oh snaps. It's all good guys, I got some more. But um, I'll get back after I get this completed. All right, y'all, so this is an update. I don't went through all of these. Um, I went to the commissary and I bought some, like, some blades. Apparently these blades aren't really that good. Um, and yeah, I don't went through all of them, just trying to shave it off. I think I got it to a good point now. And so what I'm doing now is uh, I just went and got a lint roller also kind of get all the extra um, lint off of it. And so I'm gonna do that. And then my next step is gonna be to actually put the beret into, like soak it into water, into hot water. So I'll show you guys when I get there. So real quick, what we're gonna do just before we wet it, we're gonna go ahead and turn it, invert it inside out. Um, we're gonna cut the flash. Well, we're not cutting the actual flash, but we're gonna um, basically invert it and cut this piece out right here these pieces we're gonna cut it because just because it looks better on your head when it's actually cut out um, it actually folds a little bit nicer and just looks a little bit uh, it just it just looks a little bit neater when we cut these pieces out you see what I'm saying right here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now And you want to be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to cut the actual flash or nothing like that. Just, you just want to cut it slightly, slightly. Boom. In a straight line. Just like that. And then, and you want to make sure you don't cut the seams either. Because where they, where they sewed it in, you don't want to cut that out either. So just like that, boom. Just like that, and it doesn't really matter if you have extra pieces here. You can you can cut it out if you want, but it don't really matter. Just as long as you didn't cut through the actual flash or nothing like that, boom. So just like that, it's perfectly fine. Then you're gonna go ahead and do the other side. Remember, I'm doing this in preparation for yourself because I got it last time I did this was at basic training. So, boom, you got it cut out, boom, like that. And now we're gonna we're gonna soak it and try to mold it to our heads. 